Welcome to the VentureSum channel, I'm your host Nick Metzger and today I have a bit of an advanced tutorial for you. It's for those who want to dig deeper into the subject of color grading and are starting to use DaVinci Resolve in combination with Premiere Pro. And as the title said, this is a workflow tutorial to go from Premiere to DaVinci Resolve and back to Premiere. That's just the workflow we use, the one that has worked for us over the past years. Uh, there may be others that work great, but uh, I'm going to show you this one. So let's jump right into Premiere. The first step is to open up Premiere, import your footage and start right off with editing. We suggest that you make a rough cut first without any fancy transitions or time remapping. For the clips where you want to do something like that, leave a marker, put them on a separate layer and do it after the grading. It will be much easier because Resolve can't import that kind of stuff. When you have finished the rough cut, go to the top left and click on File. Go to Export and choose Final Cut Pro XML. Then simply choose the destination where you want to save your XML file to and hit Save. Basically an XML file contains only metadata. That means it doesn't render anything, it just saves a file which relinks your original raw files to the new timeline in DaVinci Resolve. You may get a translation report that says there occurred a problem. You don't have to worry about that though. This can happen because of sound files or when there are transitions in the timeline. But we are not going to need sound files anyways for the grading. The next step is to open up DaVinci Resolve, light or studio version, doesn't matter, and create a new project. Then right click in the media pool and go to timelines. Click import and hit AAF EDF XML. Then Simply choose the XML file you just exported from Premiere. Just hit OK when the load XML windows pops up. The settings are good like that. Now you see the exact same timeline as in Premiere and you can start color grading. Let's say you have finished the color grading. Now you need to transfer the footage back to Premiere without losing any quality. To do so, go to the Deliver tab on the bottom. From the Render Settings window, choose Premiere XML. The video and audio settings are up to you, but we work with Apple ProRes 4444XQ because we don't want any loss in quality. When you have set it all up, just hit Add to Render Queue, choose your file destination and then start the render. As soon as it has finished, jump back into Premiere and go to the top left to choose File, Import and then select the XML you just exported from DaVinci Resolve. It's important that you choose the XML you exported from DaVinci Resolve and not the one you exported from Premiere first, because that will fuck it up. Now all your files are in Premiere and you can open up the Resolve timeline and copy the clips back into your main timeline. Now you simply continue with your normal workflow in Premiere. That's it for today's tutorial, I hope you learned something. And if you have any further questions, make sure to leave a comment below. And I will see you next year, which is actually next week. And I'm sure you never heard that joke before. Goodbye.